Greetings fellow Livewire fans. The purpose of this video is to illustrate the ease of which Livewire 2 public properties can be manipulated by a bad actor. I should emphasise that this is Livewire 2. Livewire 3 may have different protections. I see this many times where developers innocently believe that the properties of their component are protected within the server environment or are safe from tampering because Livewire includes a checksum to make sure that the network payload has not been changed. But Livewire provides convenient features like $set that allow component properties to be changed. Here we have a simple example component that allows a post title to be edited without a page refresh. You might do this in order to provide immediate feedback to the user if the title they want is already taken. Here is a contrived example of a post title but could be a username, a project name or similar. In this case the example is just to illustrate the potential vulnerability. In Safari we are logged in as our innocent user. We see that the user has two posts and we see the titles. We can click edit and go to the edit form for the posts where a component allows inline editing of the title. This is provided by a simple Livewire 2 component. Press change and the title turns into an input field. We can change the title and press save. The new title is set. So let's have a look at the code. The post edit page has a Livewire component for the title. We pass the ID and the title into the component. Within the component, wire click on the edit button sets the editing attribute on the component to true. If editing is true when the component is re-rendered then the input field shows instead of the header. There is a save button when the title has been amended. If we look at the component itself it's very simple. Properties passed into the component are automatically assigned to the public properties post and title. There is an editing flag which is false to start with. The render function finds the post and sends it to the blade view and the save finds the post, changes its title and saves. I've cut out any unnecessary validation etc for the purposes of this video. So what could go wrong? We have Chrome browser logged in as our bad actor. The bad actor also has a post and can change the title. In doing so he can use the network tools in the browser to inspect the payload. Here it is easy to see the names of all the public properties in our component. Using the existing HTML editable in the browser, we can change set editing to true into set post ID equal to 1. If we then click away so that this button is now changed, when we hit the change button we change post, rec post ID within the component as can be seen by the fact that the title is now the innocent user's post title. We can update the title now and it will be applied to the innocent user's post and not the bad actor's post. Returning to the index page confirms that we made the change to the innocent user's post. It is also possible to do what I just did manually by accessing the Livewire API directly in the browser and I'm grateful to Samuel Stankel for bringing this to my attention. See the show notes for reference. So how can we avoid this situation? Of course the old tenant never trusts user input but we're not accustomed to needing to worry about server site class public properties but as can be seen these are easily manipulated. So the first line of defence is always to make sure that the user has the rights to perform the action before changing any server data. 
This could be implemented via policies or as I'm going to illustrate here by just scoping the record to the current user. Instead of just find, blindly finding the post we're going to make it only one of the user's posts that are selectable. Now when we repeat the abuse of the public property the user is met with model not found because the model that they're trying to edit is not one of theirs. This approach may not cover all bases as you have other public properties that are not model related. A second approach is to guard the public properties that should be modified. Within your component you can create an updating foo function which gets called when the public property is updated. If we create one for our post ID and then throw an exception when it is called. We can prevent the property being changed. I'll repeat the test again to try and changing the post ID and you'll see it now results in an exception. We can improve on this with a little more code. As a function that is called when any property is changed, we can put guarded properties in an array, so we don't need more than one function. So if the property being changed is within this array, then throw a component tamper exception. Security is covered within the LiveWire docs, but I doubt many read it. It does describe the public properties that can be tampered with, but it also gives the impression that the LiveWire checksum will prevent tampering, which we see is not the case. Samuel's post also highlights that public methods are also fair game, and these cannot be guarded in the same way. I hope that you take something away from this video and look at your public properties with a new eye. You do need to think about whether you need to protect them or not. And I've shown a couple of simple ways where you can do this. I hope this video was of help. Bye.